So we'll hold down the more button until it starts flashing. Wait for the cold water blink. Max, so this is reading over 100 degree water temp. Use this table to determine what the IntelliClor's internal temperature sensor thinks your water uh, temperature is. This water temperature is used to calculate the salinity, so if the water temperature is not detected accurately by the IntelliClor's built-in flow sensor uh, thermistor, it will actually calculate uh, wrong and present the wrong um, salinity. So if your salinity is way off uh, what the water really is, uh, it's likely a bad uh, thermistor. Uh, so when you see the very end of the, of the previous video with the flashing um, or just a solid, you can determine, you know, if it's 60% solid, that means it's between 56 and 65 degrees. But in my case, it was blinking on the 100%, which means it was indicating a water temperature over 99 degrees Fahrenheit, even though my water was only like 65 Fahrenheit at the time. Uh, that would cause it to misreport my salinity very low and disable the cell because it would felt it was in a very low salt condition. So effectively making it uh, disabled. I read online that these thermistors go out a lot and one way you can sort of circumvent a bad temperature reading is to disconnect the thermistor or the temperature sensing capability from the flow sensor to the cell. So I removed the, the flow cap, which is just a pop-off cap, and I very carefully opened up uh, this, this outside wire and it revealed four wires inside, red, green, white, uh, and uh, black. And my understanding is that the white and the green uh, are the thermistor or thermometer to cell connection. And if you basically cut either one of those, I cut the white one or both of them, it will disconnect the uh, temperature sensor to, to the, the cell and uh, assume your water 77 degrees, which in my case uh, calculated a good salt level and I'm back to producing chlorine. So after cutting the white wire and disconnecting the internal thermometer, it goes to its default setting, which I understand is 77 degrees and now we're producing chlorine. If I redo the test now, You can see all are flashing, which indicates a bad sensor, which is because I disconnected it. But it does show before it was reading at 99 degrees, despite the water only being 67. So at least by getting it out of 99 degrees and defaulting to 77, which is relatively close, it's got um, enough salt to, or a detected salt to produce chlorine. So definitely just need a new flow sensor.